Hey guys, what's up? We are here, uh, I don't know where we are. We're, we're out in the woods somewhere. I think outside of Hagerstown, Maryland. And there is Martha and Sophie. And Volts is way over there. And we are going moto camping this weekend. And I'm also gonna do a video to talk a little bit about my tent that I bought a couple of months ago when I went out camping with my good friends over at East Coast Streamers. And that is this one. Super anus. Super anus, not the anus, it's Big Agnes, not super anus. It's big the, big it's the big, ah, you know, dude, you're gonna trip me up. It's the Big Agnes <laughs> Copper Spur HV UL3, I think uh, backpack or bike pack, bike pack. I think the HV stands for high volume and the UL is ultra light, but this is the three person version. The whole tent is in here, uh, as opposed to Volts's tent, <laughs> which is That's there. For. That's a one man tent. Uh, it's a coffin with ink, ink cloth. Yeah. This is a three man tent. Uh, so what I wanna to do today is to kinda of talk about this. We're gonna set the tent up and then take a look around. Okay, so before we get started, the other one, one thing that I do wanna let you know is before when I use this, I. I just had a uh, six by eight cheap blue tarp from REI because you couldn't get the footprint for this at the time. It was real uh, restricted as far as supply. This does have a matching footprint. It is not included. Shame on you, Big Agnes. That's when you really are a big anus. Uh, so I finally got this on Amazon. I'll put a link to it below in case you wanna check it out. But this is actually made for uh, this specific tent. And it will, uh, one of the reasons I wanted to, to, to get this is because it completes the whole system, but also you can do a uh, fast fly setup if you get caught in the rain. If you have this, um, you can frame it real quick on the footprint, put up the, um, the outer shell of the tent, then get inside and, and mount your tent. Uh, so that's one of the reasons I got this. Plus I just like to have the whole system. So let's, let's take a look at this real quick. The uh, cool part about this, this is actually made for bike packing, like bicycle, not motorbike. But um, I think it's the, the perfect thing for what I was looking for to go on the bike. If I didn't have the fairing, I could actually mount this whole thing to the, the forks on the, the front of the bike. As far as size, I brought a tape measure with me so I could show you that the width of the whole thing is about 13 and a half inches. Both parts of the tent, uh, the, the inner and the outer shell are here in this piece along with the pegs. And then this is just the, the poles. And the poles are actually about 12 inches, 12 and a half inches in this bag. So it's a little shorter. Uh, as far as width, it takes up about, get it right side up. About seven and a half inches, eight inches uh, this way. So it's it's a it's a fairly small setup. So with that, Volt, you want to give me a hand? We'll set this puppy up. Sure. All right, hang on. Okay, so these are the tent poles. Taking these out. This is a little cross piece for the rain fly. We'll leave that alone for now, uh, and we'll take these over here. And I've laid out the footprint. One of the things I really like about the uh, the copper spur is that uh, you can see things are color coded. So we have orange tabs here, gray on the other side, and then the ends of the uh, the tent poles are color coded as well. So you'll know exactly uh, which part or which uh, tab to set the the poles in. And I'll see if I can get Volts to hold on to this for me while I. Uh, set the poles up, get the frame going. Okay, so I'm gonna take the rubber bands off these and then I'm gonna st and stand back because this thing kind of like, uh, does like a spider. Okay, and then these two tabs are gray. So they're gonna go in the gray tabs over on the other side. And then these two are orange, so they're gonna go in the orange ones. Oh, 
Okay, so you might ask, why am I doing this this way uh, and setting this up on the footprint first? And that's because I want to get an idea of where to place the tent and the area that I need on this pad because we're going to set up Boltz's uh, tent on the pad as well when this is done. I can't remember, but I think the orange side is the head side and the, the uh, silver side is the foot, but we'll figure that out. So I'm gonna orient this and then we will come back and we'll put the tent in place on top of the footprint uh, and then hook this up. All right, so we have the footprint oriented. I know where the tent's gonna go. Now it's time to put the tent uh, in place. It's the main body of the tent, the inner tent, whatever the hell you campers call the, the first part. And what I'm looking for is the corners here. Again, the corners are color coded. So this is the orange. These are the orange tabs and they're gonna mate up with the orange tabs on this side. And then the gray or silver ones are gonna go on that side. So what's really cool is the, um, the footprint, the tent, and the uh, rainfly all kind of fit together just like this. So right now I've got the pole going into the the um, the footprint. I'm going to lift this up and put put it through the tent, the main part of the tent. Gonna go like this. Just like that. So that's in place, and then when we put the rain fly in place, we're actually gonna snap it down on this piece so we don't have to go th through another hole on the, the rod there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all four corners like this. Okay, now that we have the corners done, all we have to do is lift up on here and we have clips that clip straight to the frame here that hold the tent in place. Okay, we're not quite done yet because we have to do the cross piece, which is this set. And then one thing that uh, I do want to point out is this little sleeve here. Uh, forgot what you call it, but it's a repair tube in case one of the uh, tube snaps or you can put this over the brake and hold it together. I just leave it on here so I don't lose it. And this is going to go right across the, uh, the top and we have, we have a little uh, snap in here on this side, on the, the middle. I'll try to take a photo of that. I'm sure you can't see it from over there. And then we have one on the other side as well. And then we want to take this center piece and snap it up here. And that's it. The tent is up. So the main part of the tent is up. And I, you know, I, the inner tent, I'm not a camper. Somebody tell me below, what do you call the inner piece of the tent? The inner part, but the shell or whatever. That is now up. As you can see, it's a freestanding structure. I guess technically you don't have to stake it down, but you know, if the wind comes a blowing, that's a problem. So I'm gonna stake it down and I'll show you the stakes it comes with uh, before I go ahead and put the uh, rain fly on. Missed a clip here. So just a couple of cool features about this tent. There's a gear shelf inside here. You can see where you could stick stuff. We'll take a look at that once I get everything set up. This is a helmet strap for a bicycle helmet. If you want to leave your helmet out there, obviously motorcycle helmet's not going to fit there. This has doors on both sides. So you can see this opening here on this side. You also have a gear shelf above your head. And when we get inside, I'll show you, but there's a little uh, cutout here. So if you've got headphones, you can push the wire down through there. So that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of the tent up off camera, and then we'll come back and we'll take a look um, after I get the rain fly on. Moments later. And through the magic of YouTube, not only do I have the big Agnes set up, but Volts also has his tent set up over here. We'll do another video on that one. 
So one of the things I like about the, the Big Agnes, I know at least the UL2 and the UL3, that's the two-person and three-person tents, uh, have an opening on each side. So there's one, and here's the other. Now I have them both open because it's nice to catch a little crosswind um, <clears throat> to get some air inside the tent. I have both, ouch. <laughs> I have both of the uh, <clears throat> awnings here rolled up and tucked away, but if you have trek poles or sticks, you can actually pull the awnings out and they make uh, a really nice cover. So if it's uh, inclement weather outside, raining or whatever, then you have a nice little covered area uh, underneath uh, here in this vestibule to, uh, to kind of just sit and drink and eat or do whatever you want to do. Read a book and look outside. So I'll point out that they have a little vent built in. It's a little Velcro stick. So you can get some circulation into the tent that way as well. It'll help from getting kind of funky in there. I don't have the tent all the way staked out. I have uh, the ends and the, the sides staked, but we don't have a lot of wind here on a cover. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Uh, the tent's stable. So I didn't, uh, I didn't stake these down. And then you can see the, with the, uh, the rain fly, I have that snapped into the snap piece here. That keeps that in place. <clears throat> There's plenty of tie down options. You can tie down the sides here if you're in really bad weather, but, but yeah, that's it. So I think what we'll do Oh, point out another exterior feature here. Got these little loops here where you can lay uh, clothes out or whatever articles you need to dry out during the day. Kind of have them up there. Um, uh, one more thing to point out, the, the footprint that you'll see has this little piece that comes out that uh, when these are closed and this is zipped up, provides a nice ground cover underneath this vestibule. Another reason to get the footprint that goes with the, the tent. So we're gonna go get some liquid refreshment and get some more stuff set up. But I will, um, in the morning, we'll do a little video inside the tent so that you can see uh, how much it holds, which it holds quite a bit. And then some of the interior features, I'll pull the rain fly off and then we'll kind of do a walk around before I do the tear down in the morning and talk a little bit about some of the other features of the tent. Later. Uh-oh, it started raining. Three twenty-eight a.m. Well, it's 3.30, and it's been raining for about an hour and a half. Sounds like it's slowing down a little bit. Oh, my gear's dry. The only issue I've got is right about there. Got a little water that's come in underneath the, uh, the footprint. I'm not sure. I haven't looked outside yet. I'm not sure how that got, got underneath there, but uh, yeah, everything's cool. We've got gear up here. In the gear loft and down there. Well, this will make for an interesting morning, that's for sure. Three hours later. I'm going to switch to the wide mode here and go in and uh, do a quick look inside the tent. See if we can get a better look at some of the features here than we did at oh, dark 30 this morning. Hey, Volts. Hey. How was your cocoon, your, your goat? Good. Is it the goat, right? Is that the... <laughs> no, it's a goose. 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 It's the goose. The goat's the one that has the horn sticking up. <laughs> so let's go take a look. Water. Yeah, it got wet last night for sure. So there's the, uh, there's the inside. So I got all my gear in there. That water... Uh, Again, I think is between the top of the footprint and the bottom of the tent. You can see the gear storage up there. And then we have little pockets on the side. And then got the gear storage down there. 
I'll put the dimensions of the um, the pad up here so you can kind of get a feel for how big it is. But it's definitely uh, a great size for one person and uh, all your moto gear in one spot. I'm happy with it. I like it. It's a good tent and it packs down really small and uh, doesn't waste shit, you know. So it's great to take around on a bike. So I'm going to try to figure out how to pack this though. I don't want to put this back in my dry bag wet, uh, but we'll figure it out and head home. But again, Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL3 bike pack tent. Two thumbs up for me. Peace.